20 minutes separates these two sides mohan bagan super giant taking on bengaluru fc mohan bagan super giant taking on bengaluru fc and on the line tonight is a place in the finals of the durand cup let's take a look at mohan bagan super giant six changes from that game versus punjab fc it's a 3-4-3 3 formation by jose molina and of course you always got to look at the likes of petratos and jason cummings has come in papa has come in apuya is there manbir is there but sunil chetri is starting his first game for bengaluru fc in the tournament vinith venkatesh as well comes into the playing 11 it's a 4-3-3 and when you talk about bengaluru fc you have to focus on jersey number 30 hoge perera diaz he is such a danger back to liston colasso takes a long range shot good shot by liston colasso oh he's known to hit some of those long ranges loves taking a few long range efforts as well mohan began super giant just able to put some pressure on And here comes Sunil Chetri now one on one Sunil Chetri with a chance to score his fifth goal versus Mohan Bagan Super Giant well defended Here comes Vineet Venkatesh brought down there at the Pendu Biswas and referee points to a penalty as the one and only Sunil Chetri Chetri makes no mistake whatsoever Sunil Chetri continues his goal scoring record versus Mohan Bagan Super Giant He was never going to miss from there. Happiness and of course claps everywhere as far as Bengaluru FC are concerned. And it's so good to see that none of that has changed. Didn't take much of a run up as well and here he is again puts in a ball straight away. Trying to find Roshan Singh long range shot coming in by Suresh Wangjam. As far as Indian football is concerned meanwhile at the other end Liston Kalaso gets past two players takes that shot comes off the bar. Unlucky to not draw level Mohan Bagan Super Giant in this game. Here's Anirudh Thapa. puts in the cross numbers in the box there's a brilliant header another header and again it's the bar that stopped mohan bagan super giant from drawing level in the semi final got to see that goal bengaluru fc end half time or go into half time as a one goal lead and sometimes that frustration creeps into your game meanwhile here come bengaluru fc vinith venkatesh with nothing but the open net in front of him and vinith venkatesh who's looked so good this entire game in the melee they were disorganized they didn't get back into shape then an individual error at the back goza meanwhile at the other end manbir singh referee replace says penalty for mohan bagan super giant the defenders of bengaluru fc not happy with that decision whatsoever Dimitri Petratos in the 69th minute of this game has pulled one goal back for Mohan Bagan Super Giant. Thanks. Good to do that knowing that if the keeper doesn't move good for each thing he stands still you could look foolish but the straight back on the attack again. Now another shot taken from far what a shot. How about that? Anirudh Thapa with one of the goals of the tournament. Anirudh Thapa drawing Mohan Bagan Super Giant level with 7 minutes remaining in this game. Yeah, Anirudh Thapa it's a brilliant strike. The first ball's headed clear. We talked about having them edge men on the edge of the box in the first half of the corners and that's exactly why they're there. They can help the ball back in or if you've got the technical ability. And there you have it. At the end of 90 minutes, Mohan Bagan Super Giant and Bengaluru FC have ended this game at two apiece, which means semi-final number 2 of the Durand Cup is going into a penalty shootout. Easy. Easy does it. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, but nice. Easy goings. Easy doing. Into the top corner. Yeah, different to Cummings' penalty. He just went for pace and power. The Schalke is moving around as much as he can. No problem whatsoever. Experience all over that penalty. Puts it in. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Looking to get that third penalty for Bengaluru FC. No mistake whatsoever. Already got one goal from the spot. Petratos no problem smashing it smashes it down to the left corner yeah four from four already had one in the game as you said chose a slightly different technique this time took it to the other side jersey number 19 he misses it he misses it vishal kaith makes yet another save for mohan bagan super giant 
Yeah, wonderful technique. Springs make sure he doesn't leave his line too early, which can always be the temptation for goalkeepers. What's in store for us? Oh, he makes a save! What a save! Brilliant save by Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. Diving to his right, keeping Bengaluru FC in the contest. Almost seemed to wait to make the decision of where it was going to go and then he could spring big massive hand on it. Normally with the power of them it might still redirect and go into the goal but it's such a good save. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu just able to push it wide. And now comes Jovanovic. He misses it again! He misses it again! Vishal Kett the hero yet again! The second save on the night! The second save on the night means Mohan Bagan's super giant are travelling to the final of the Durin Cup yet again. A penalty shootout ensuring that Mohan Bagan's super giant are on the line.